Now that we have finished our setup on iOS, Android, and JavaScript, we are now ready to push up updates to the Microsoft Code Push servers. To do that, we are going to use a command line tool called Release React. This is something that resides in the App Center CLI. To find out more information about this, go to your command prompt and type in App Center Code Push Release dash React and type in dash dash help and this is going to display all the options available for the release react command. Now more than likely your app is going to just take in a default configuration but this command is highly configurable so if you have a complex app feel free to take a look at all these options. Now to do our release we are just going to run more or less a default configuration so let's type in app center code push release dash react and we're going to do a dash a and this is going to be our app and this takes in an interesting format if we look up here you see this dash a dash or you can use dash dash app you're supposed to specify the app in the owner name slash app name format you may be asking yourself what is the owner name in order to find that go to the app center and in this preview pan where it lists all the apps look for your app and you'll see the owner here on the right so mine is macboy digital and the app name is tag so mine is going to be macboy digital slash tag now one important note you cannot put a space in this entry so instead of doing Mac instead of for the owner putting a Mac boy space digital slash tag any space that you use you replace that with a dash so mine's gonna be Mac boy dot digital dot tag okay and <clears throat> We're also going to put in a dash D, and this is deployment key. Our deployment key that we're going to use is production. And let's go ahead and press enter and let this run. This does take a while because it is going to bundle up your JavaScript portion of the app and then deploy it out. And depending on the size of your app, this could take a while. Okay, it looks like mine completed successfully. So if I go back into the App Center, I navigate to my app, and I go to Distribute, and then to Code Push. I can see I have a new release here that was just created. So now I know that our Code Push release is on the Microsoft Code Push server. Now once the user opens their app, this will automatically sync to the user's device. Now this concludes our session on Code Push for React Native. What we did here only scratched the surface of what Code Push can do. There's more that you can do than just simply pushing out incremental updates with JavaScript. You can also do A-B testing and many other great, great unique features. So if you're curious about that, I encourage you to go check out the documentation blogs and YouTube videos of other use cases for code push. Uh, a little bit about myself. My name is Corey McAvoy. I am a freelance React Native developer. If you have any questions about React Native development, feel free to reach out to me. Uh, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification for updates on my videos. I will do more videos going forward on code push, React Native, and GraphQL for the most part. Thank you and have a good day.